Hey everyone, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're gonna talk over Entropion. Well, I'm gonna go over three steps today. What the pet owner sees at home, what I as a veterinarian see to diagnose the problem, and how we fix it. Entropion is incredibly painful for a dog. Why is that? Well, Entropion is literally the lower eyelid rolling in and laying on the cornea. When the dog goes to blink, Usually the eyelids, upper and lower, they're gonna blink and they're gonna spread the tears beautifully. But when you have entropion, the lower lid or the upper lid is rolled in. And all that fur is rolled in as well. So when they go to blink, the fur rubs up against the cornea and it really hurts. And the cornea is so sensitive. If any of you have ever got anything in your eye or bad contact and you can feel it just rubbing, that's what the doggy feels on a daily basis. When that fur is rolled inward and it rubs up against the cornea, what will the pet owner see? The pet owner will probably see an eyelid that's rolled in. Now, some people can't appreciate it because it can be very mild sometimes. When a pet owner looks at the dog, usually you will see the leading edge of the eyelid. The leading edge of the eyelid has no fur on it and it's really smooth. And sometimes if I'm not sure, I'll take the doggy eye and just open it up a little bit and that leading edge rolls out, then I have an entropion. In most cases, it's pretty obvious because the pet owner will see the fur actually laying against the eyeball because it's rolled inward. The pet owner will probably also notice a squinting and discharge and maybe even a cloudy eyeball. And that is because the doggy has a corneal ulcer from the fur rubbing up against the eye. If you're interested on in how I diagnose corneal ulcers, click the little tab that's gonna appear and that will take you to the corneal ulcer video. When the pet owner rolls into the veterinary office, the first thing I'm gonna do is just step away a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with the eyeball. I wanna see how the dog handles the eye. In most cases of entropion, the dog squinting, has discharge, maybe the eye's kind of cloudy as we just mentioned. But I, I really want to see that eyelid kind of rolled in and squinting. Because if I just go in there right away and just grab the eye and kind of pull the lids back, that's not how the dog usually has the eyelids placed on a daily basis. So the first thing, I'm just going to sit back and observe. And most of the time, I'll see that lid rolled in and maybe the dog squinting a whole bunch and super uncomfortable. Once I have a better idea of what's going on, I'm gonna numb the eye with some eye drops. I'm gonna open that eyelid up and I'm gonna see how much of the eyelid is actually rolled down. And then I'll check for an ulcer too. And usually I'll have an ulcer on the cornea where the entropion is because of all the rubbing. Now that we've diagnosed an entropion, which is 100% based on your physical, we're gonna go ahead and fix it. Entropion is fixed with surgery. And what the veterinarian is going to do is make a little elliptical incision under the eyelid and we're going to remove a piece of skin. Now, by removing that piece of skin, I'm going to then pull the eyelid down. And by pulling the eyelid down, it, it used to be rolled in like that, right guys? And by making a little cut right here and taking that skin out and pulling it down, I'm going to pull that eyelid out. And now we blink beautifully. I'm going to suture it, and now the eyelid is no longer pulled in, but we pulled it out. Once you have surgery on an entropion, the eye is fixed. You should have no more problems with it because the cornea is not being rubbed by the fur anymore. Unfortunately, sometimes you do need to have revisions done if enough skin is not taken. It can be hard to tell how much skin to take sometimes. I hope this video gives everyone a whole bunch of confidence regarding rolling into the veterinary office and getting a diagnosis and getting an entropion corrected.